If you golf, you'll probably have a bag that looks something like this, filled with golf ball markers, tees, scoring pencils, stuff you used once and then threw into this bag. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to customize the golf ball markers, take away the emblem or course logo, and put something cool on there that you'll definitely wanna play with next time. Of course, you need your bag of ball markers to start. And this process honestly works with any material that they may be. Uh, I use these little white plastic ones, but it also works on metal and poker chip and wood. Um, so with that being said, let's get right into it. Next, you're gonna need some markers. Because we're working with a small surface area, I recommend using these Sharpies with the fine tip. It'll be a little bit easier to draw and they'll dry pretty quickly as well. I tried a couple of different spray paints for this next step, and I found that the flat white paint and primer by Rust-Oleum worked best. Be sure to do this step in a well-ventilated area, of course. I stuck the ball markers into a piece of cardboard so that the tops are painted evenly. Spray one coat of paint, let it fully dry. You may need to do a few coats if the existing logo is still visible, but when you're done, you'll have a nice matte finish like this on all of the ball markers. Be sure to let them fully dry or you'll have to start the step over, which is a pain in the butt. Now for the fun part. Once they're all dry, you can start putting your own designs on them. I recommend putting some paper down underneath. I found this out the hard way, but of course, Sharpie bleeds through. Anyway, here's some you can see that I've finished. These stencils work really great um, to keeping a uniform design like I did with this dollar sign symbol. These stencils are a really great tool to use. They're pretty cheap and you can get them at any craft shop that you may have around. I've already got a few of them done here. Some were hand drawn and for the other ones I used a stencil. So the smiley face and also the no three putts right here I of course did freehand. But the other ones like the card symbols and the raindrop. I definitely use the stencil for but my favorite by far is the dollar sign one. Golf's all mental and if you don't like what you're looking down at right before you putt you're probably gonna miss it so keep that in mind when you're designing these. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button to let me know. And down below, tell me what you did with your golf ball markers. I'm curious to know what kind of paint did you use? What logos did you put on there? what did you write on the markers? Uh, put it all down below so I can see what you did. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.